Welcome back. Today's upload marks a special milestone reached in the Fuller Fanatic collection. I've added an Um Num Zom by Chris Reeve to my small top end collection, the Rolex of folding knives. And I do love a great presentation, so it's worth showing the awesome Chris Reeve branded box you receive with purchase as well as Allen wrenches to disassemble the knife, lube and Loctite, extra spacer with lanyard, Chris Reeve cleaning cloth, and an envelope containing various warranty, registration, guarantee, and birthday cards. There's also a nice sticker and instructions on opening the Um Num Zom. Quite the rollout for this knife. The specs on this work of art are an overall length of 8.409 inches. The handle is comprised of two titanium slabs, each 0.15 of an inch in thickness, and 4.77 inches in length. The blade is S35VN at 0.14 of an inch thick and 3.68 inches long. The Umnuzan weighs in at 5 ounces. This configuration sports the Tanto blade and for some odd reason this variant kept calling out to me. The blade is running on bronze washers that have grease pockets in them to reduce touching surfaces, reducing friction, plus drag, with less material coming in contact, which will extend lifespan and reduce wear. The blade is deployed by two thumb studs on either side of the knife. The distance between the pivot and thumb stud, in addition to the offset angle between the two, makes deploying the Um Num Zan a difficult or abnormal task for some. Simply put, the studs must be pushed forward towards the pivot access to deploy the blade. When you cat's paw or slow roll the blade, the glassy smooth action can be felt. Of course, thumb flicking the knife is the best deployment, in my opinion. Even with the O-rings in place and acting as dampeners and lockup, as well as over travel stop pins, I can hear that loud addictive Chris Reeve knife click. And I must admit, I wonder what the Um Num Zom's lockup would sound like without the O-rings. Every knife person knows a Chris Reeve knife and its makeup, but I want to give a macro look at the ceramic ball and lock face everyone speaks on, but I have yet to see close and clear on camera. I'm speaking on the ceramic interface for the end of the lock bar that's 97 rock wall and will last beyond the life of the knife. Pinned into the titanium by machine pinch cutouts, it is very stable. This is the reason I went with the Um Num Zom, being that the Sabenza 21 Large was the only Sabenza in stock at the time of this purchase. I also love the mill scales on the Um Num Zom, as opposed to the plain scales on the Sabenza. Another nice touch is the over travel stop, sporting the Chris Reeves logo, which has been press fit into the knife, just as the thumb studs, pocket clip, hardware, and spacers have all been press fit. The fit, finish, tolerances, and simplicity all work together to make this a work of art. And by today's standards, per a spec sheet, the Um Num Zom is way overpriced at $450. But with this ironclad warranty and additional spa options that restore the whole knife's finish from tip to butt back to brand new quality via bead blasting sets this piece apart from all others. Even though this isn't a Sabenza, the Um Num Zom, I believe, is the Sabenza's bigger brother of a workhorse that needed to be added to my collection. And believe me, I will be getting a red linen my Carter inlaid Sabenza 31 when I find one. Please rate, share, comment with your thoughts on the Um Num Zom, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the uploads drop. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.